So yeah, 2023 sucked. So pretty much my overall journey in 2023 kind of sucked. And I feel like I'm still kind of recovering from it. Towards the end, there was some light at the end of the tunnel. Let's go into the details of why I think 2023 sucked for me. We're going to go over a little bit of, it was kind of like a slow drain for me for the most part. And this is going into like work, at home, health stuff. And then hopefully we can get into some things that kind of is kind of getting me out of it. Let's get into what this video is about, which is my journey as a software engineer in 2023. I was still debating like how soon would I get back with this? And I was supposed to do this at the very beginning of January. But one of the things I wanted to do when I created this video was being pretty close to well, I wanted to take like the my future as far as this channel, as far as what I want to do in life. I really wanted to set that in plan and I'm pretty close to to that. Yeah, we'll get more into that towards the end of this video. So let's, let's discuss work. So yeah, work. I worked a lot. <laughs> work was definitely demanding in 2023. And just to go over some particular notes, leading two teams during that time, working crazy hours just to make sure like both teams had the proper assistance. That was, that was definitely something. It was definitely, I wouldn't say it was something new, but it was definitely a different different way of how I was doing things there because consulting in the past for sure working on seven projects at a time and a couple of hours here a couple of hours there and really time wasn't really measured by hours in consulting on previous consulting companies I worked for yeah having seven projects at one time was crazy as it was but I feel like it was pretty manageable and I me mean, working two teams is like pretty pretty much the same thing but I would say this like my time is is definitely more stretch when we're working with more teams that was definitely something that uh, happened leading two teams and when developers do their things and helping out the whole entire team with getting their their solutions and doing the things that I need to do to help them do be efficient and developers and having the documentation so they don't have to continue to come out of ask me all the time i think that was like one of my saving grace as far as work is you know being able to delegate things out but also the documentation i wrote up helped reduce the repeated questions that i would continue to get on a daily basis other than that you know, i wanted to learn you know different stuff outside of what i was really learning and i felt like i really wasn't really aligned last year of what i really wanted to learn and this is going to like some of the things that mainly i was learning for the business standpoint but you know hoping that it was going to be beneficial and for me it wasn't that much beneficial for me and so yeah it was just a little bit of misalignment there and a little bit of burnout from that so let's go into some things like at home and stuff so like family you guys probably don't see what's going on in the backgrounds of the camera and stuff and this is probably me just being super private with some of the family stuff like i recently become more aware that you know this channel is mainly for me and i might not you know in particular show like my kids and families and activities all the time that's the thing that you know i want to keep their privacy i want to keep their 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 own autonomy to themselves that's one thing you might not see the full background behind the cameras but you might see me and the things that i actually do other than that the the biggest things for me was kids health like we were in and out of the hospital crazy amount of times this year just a crazy year especially at the very beginning especially at the very end in all between in the middle to be able to meet a deductible for your insurance where you don't have to pay anything uh, anymore uh, i thought that was essentially unheard of i never thought i would meet a deductible for my insurance deductible so that's just kind of like telling right there how many times we had to go to the doctor i definitely prioritize to make sure like you know they get everything they they ultimately need even in even just not just my kids, but, you know, my wife. I, I felt pretty good. I, I feel like this is the craziest year while, I, while everyone else was getting sick. I wasn't getting sick that much. The only thing I had mostly was the allergies, and that was the only, biggest thing for me. I'm definitely an allergy kind of person. But, yeah, um, and then, you know, we, we also had dog stuff, too, which is our dog was definitely up in age in 2023. So... 
if you ever had to deal with an older dog, you know that it's really demanding to make sure they're, they're eating right, make sure they don't get sick, make sure they're going to the doctor and so on, make sure they're taking their medications. It was definitely very much demanding and that was really, really taking the toll on my part. Definitely, definitely felt mentally drained from all of that. Definitely taxing when she was here and, and it's definitely tax taxing when she passed and she did pass this year unfortunately yeah she was one of my wife's first dogs and yeah she was definitely very 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 big component integral part to our family and you know it's just crazy how you're taking care of her and you, then you're not taking care of her anymore and you're just trying to fit fit in what were you supposed to be doing during those times it was definitely tough and one of the things that we we did after that was to make sure that we see family as one of the biggest things that's after our passing is like enjoying the moments with our family and stuff is really important so we took a trip going to florida seeing family and thought that was really important and stayed there for over a month and just really shows the importance of building those memories and definitely that's definitely what i definitely took from her as much and then you have my health which is like kind of a transition into the next thing i wanted to discuss doing too much like doing too much as far as thinking that you know, doing more is going to get me more outcome. And this is, like I said, with the work, like I almost feel like I subjected myself to more working and more hours and stuff like that. Also subjected myself to working more outside of my job for my own business. And then, you know, that just, yeah, yeah. Hours already feeling fatigued, pushing past that, thinking I can push past that wasn't the best move on my part. So i almost towards the end of this year almost threw everything to the wayside and pretty much stopped everything so probably saw less videos towards the end of this year less of me doing things and just really really centering myself the family dog health and all that yeah it was just you know consequently going into burnout which is probably a video of itself that i need to get into because i really really realize how burned out I was towards the end of this year. I don't get into that state again because it's nothing but tiredness, fatigue, at least for my part, especially things that I love to do, like share information, share information on YouTube with you all. It was just crazy that I couldn't even do those things. Couldn't even look in the camera, couldn't even think about editing a video. My body just, just wanted to shut down, just go to sleep. That's essentially what I did. I think it's really important to get out of burnout and how to get out of burnout. And maybe this is something that I might discuss later in this year, which is like how I, I'm getting out of burnout and how to recover from it. But for the most part, I started hunting towards like Thanksgiving time or something like that when I first went on a hunt. And after the hunt came to the realization, the epiphany of it all, because at that point, I didn't think I was doing anything great at that at all towards that year because i wasn't accomplishing the goals that i thought i saw I, I i wanted to set out and accomplish for this year it was during that hunt i went bird hunting with my uncle after that hunt it's just like a rush of energy a rush of oh is i'm grateful to be in this life really grateful to be in this life really grateful to why i built up to this point the word gratitude just continued to you know come at me it's like gratitude gratitude on all the things and when i think of gratitude I, I think of being satisfied with what you are now and i think for the longest i never really understood that until after i went on this hunt it was a really really big pivotal part for me because all the achievements that i did set out for they were great and all but at, up to that point of setting those achievements ahead of, of beginning of last year i didn't really need those achievements I was doing well, even towards the end of this year with all the things that as I set out to, I did achieve some things like some financial stuff, like investments, doing well investment stuff. Yeah, like I did pretty well as far as YouTube goes, like being able to on average produce roughly around a video a week. When I was doing the office hour stuff, I think it was doing it like twice a week or something like that, or three times a week. I like really made up to all the things that 
I ultimately wanted to do, which is produce a video every week. Yeah, it was like 72 videos within in this year that I produced. And you guys were a really great component to watching those videos, giving me a lot of great feedback, giving me a lot of conversation, discussions to those videos. Yeah, I was just like really grateful to what I've gone so far with this channel. I can't wait until I set out all these different plans that I have. You know, like I say, I'm reading, I'm reading right now on what it means to be sustainable and what it means to be feeling good with going forward and also being satisfied with what I have right now because I am doing phenomenal right now compared to where I, I originally was five years ago. It's been fantastic. And I can't wait to what, what what's in turn into in the next couple of years, next five years. But one of the things I am going to keep in the forefront of all of this is gratitude. Doesn't mean that I won't achieve more, but everything above what I have right now is just going to be an extra bonus. And that's essentially how I'm going to frame it. It's just everything is great beyond this. Everything is a bonus. The family I have is awesome. The things that I was able to accomplish so far is amazing and the people I got to connect with and have relationships with is phenomenal and I can't wait to do more with that I can't wait to sustain what I already have and get you in the bill from there if that's possible that's pretty much it like I'm not, I'm not setting any particular goals right now like I said, I'm still planning these things out and what it means to be sustainable. But you guys are going to hear it from me relatively soon. And hopefully, whatever that kind of means as far as being sustainable was what's the frequency of when the videos come out. You're just going to see it. But I do appreciate you all coming in. And this is, you know, essentially my reflection of last year. Hope you guys are doing well and you guys doing some reflection of your own. Just like I've, I've learned this past year's like gratitude, really, really understand what that really means and what that means to you and what you have already. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. Peace.